Okay, and then we move forward. We need to calculate the dimensionless breakthrough time, and this is the equation. So let's calculate it. I'm going to do this, all right? And let's make another row. Let's call it T, open parenthesis, T, D, B, T. OK. And make 15. Everything will be 15. OK, so very easy. You can just calculate using that open parenthesis, 4 multiplied by Z plus 1.75 multiplied by Z squared minus 0 0.75 multiplied by Z powered by 3 close parenthesis divided by open parenthesis 7 minus 2 multiplied by Z close you get that okay and drag it like this okay just make sure 4 multiplied by z plus this one, 1.75 multiplied by this square, and then minus 0 0.75 multiplied by z, part by 3, and then 7 minus 2 multiplied by z. Okay, so we have them. And okay, so next we also have this correlation, and this is for the mobility ratio. I'm going to okay, doesn't matter. 15. Now we need to calculate the TBT. Okay, TBT. So let's make it like this. TBT equals to this calculations and multiplied by TDBT. First, I just want to make the, you know, the relationship. So something here. TBT in relation to TDBT. So it should be 20,325 multiplied by oil viscosity. Okay, and then close. Multiplied by thickness, porosity, and TDBT. So I will skip this TDBT. We just need to calculate it with thickness and porosity and then divided by density difference, vertical permeability and yeah. Okay, one plus mobility ratio powered by alpha. And alpha can be 0 0.5 or 0 0.6. We know that our M is 3.1. So we are going to use alpha of 0 0.6 because 3.1 is somewhere between 1 and 10. Okay, so let's go, let's go to 20,325 multiplied by oil viscosity multiplied by porosity. Okay, and then multiplied by original oil thickness. And then I'm going to close them and then divide it by open parenthesis density difference density of water minus density of oil, and then close multiplied by, multiplied by, I forget it, okay, KV, and then multiplied by one plus mobility ratio, 3.1, and then powered by alpha, 
our alpha is 0 0.6 and then close and then okay so it's 1627 multiplied by tdbt okay so that's the relationship we can easily calculate the tbt then like this multiplied by i'm going to lock this one okay so now the time to break through okay for 500 stock tank barrel per day will be 257 days for 1119 days and for 15, 1577 days okay so moving forward Calculate the time to break through. Of course, we all already do that. We can copy this table. Okay. And then step four, we need to calculate the initial oil in place. 